son of a bitch. Not so fast. I wanna play a game. And it's called Guess Who You Thought Was Dead When He Came Back to oh. Kill Your Sorry Motherfucking Ass! Mike, get a hold of you. I'm gonna cut you like a fucking cow. I like to see you try. But you have to come and find me first. <laughs>
Hello? Hello. Uh, yeah. Who is this? Who is this? You sound hot. You have a sexy voice. <laughs> Thanks. What are you doing? Nothing much. About to watch a scary movie. Sounds fun. Oh my god, I love watching horror movies in the fall. It's like my favorite. Do you like Halloween? Oh my god, Halloween is my favorite holiday ever. Do you like scary movies? Um, I'm obsessed with them. I know every single thing about every single horror movie. Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite? Friday the 13th. Is that the one where the killer is at the summer camp? Yeah, Jason Voorhees. Right, I like that movie. It was scary. The first three were good. The rest of them kind of sucked, though. Did you get a chance to see Kill 2 in theaters yet? Yeah, I like the first one, so I'm definitely going to have to check out the second one. How's about I take you to <laughs> see it? Are you asking me on a date? Maybe. Do you have a boyfriend? Maybe. That's too bad. Sorry. Anyways, I gotta go. See ya. I told you I had to go. Goodbye. Wait. What? Don't hang up. Why? Because I want to talk. About what? Our date. Look, I was just joking about that. I have a girlfriend. Oh, really? She's here with me right now. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. Because from here, it looks like you're alone. What did you say? That's not what you said. Yes, it is. Look, whatever game you're trying to play, I'm not trying to play it. Who said this was a game? This is a movie. What movie? The same one your girlfriend Jamie was in. Only I killed her off about 20 minutes ago. Are you scared yet, Kelly? Is that what you want? Do you want to die tonight, Callie? 
No, please don't do this. Poor Jamie. I don't know if you knew this, but she was going to be a lawyer. She was going to help many people. It's too bad some psychotic killer had a slice open her throat down to the bone. In the blood. So much blood. Fuck you. I know you're lying. Am I? Yeah. Can you see me? Come out, bitch. Where are you? <laughs>
nice. Come on, let's go. Oh. Something's right and something is worth to die for. When I feel that something is wrong, something oh, okay. is worth. Uh, yeah, it is. Come on, let's go inside. Okay. And okay, just close that behind you. Mm -hmm. And lock it too. Wow, this place is beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Jack, this place is amazing. It's nice up there? Yeah, I think we can get used to this. Yeah, you know what? I think so too. It's a little big, but yeah. Catherine. Grayson, hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks. So, can I come in? Yeah. Sorry. Of course. Come on. Thanks. So, can I get you something to drink? No, I'm fine. Thank you. So what brings you here? Have you heard from him? No, I haven't. When was the last time you spoke? Um, it's been a while. Do you think he'll ever come back? <clears throat> Grayson, Jack has a terrible past here. I can understand why he left. And I don't blame him. Not one bit. Oh, why are you still here? I know my little Jack is safe. I've lost too many people I care about. And I don't want anything to happen to you. And Jack? What's going to happen to him? Jack will be fine. I promise you. No one is out to get him. Don't worry. Fucking bitch! Why? What's wrong? It's just the whole thing with Callie and Peter. I just hate being dragged into shit like that. Well, hey, Peter's a dick and Callie's a bitch. Don't don't let them fuck with your head. Come on, just think about us right here and right now. I'll be right back. Oh, well, we were having a moment here. I'll be right back. Hello? Oh, hey, Sam. Um, uh, nothing. I was just doing homework. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm totally in for that. Okay, um, I'll text Derek to see if he wants to join us. Alright, awesome. Bye, see you tonight. What was that all about? Sam and Peter are going to the apartment complex in Wexington. Apparently Jack Anderson moved in there today. Jack Anderson from the Kill movies? Yep. Yo, he's been through hell and back. <laughs> I know, dipshit. I've seen the movies. Well, shit, this is awesome. What time is it? Around 7 o'clock. Oh, fuck, I have work. Your boss is such a schmuck daddy. What the fuck is that? 
I don't know, I just kind of said it. <laughs> Do you mind asking him if he could sign a copy of the movie for me? Sure. Sam said his friend Christina moved in with him. Was she the one in the sequel that he found on the driveway? Yeah, uh, but the police came and saved her. They found Jack later in a crashed van bleeding. God, poor kid. <laughs> that guy has such a fucked up past. I know, it's terrible. Have you ever heard the expression, pissing in the wind? But then there's always that one asshole who pees in the wrong direction and all that shit comes around and hits him? That's Jack. And no matter how many times he tries to run from it, he'll always catch up to him and he'll, he will always be the victim royalty. There's no escaping that. But nowadays it's been proven that to survive in a modern horror film, you pretty much have to be gay. Jeez, you know your horror shit. Mm-hmm. There's just some certain rules to horror movies that I know. Like in the first one, the, the story start to be set. In the second one, the story starts to expand. What happens in the third film? Well, all bets are off. Really? And that's when you start to face the terrifying truth of a trilogy. Jack better hope there's not a kill three. All bets are off. I'm sure there won't be. Jack, hurry up. This bitch is about to get it. All right, I'll be right there. Are we expecting anyone? No, I don't think so. Go check. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually hugging Jack Anderson. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't, I don't mean to be such a fangirl, but I love you so much. <laughs> it's fine, but who are you guys? Sorry, I'm Peter. This is Samantha, and this is Kate. We came to welcome you to Amsbury. We go to school with you. Oh, that's really nice of you. That's very nice of you. You must be Christina. Yes, please, come in. <laughs> So if you guys want more water, I'll just fill it up for you guys. So what brings you to Amsterdam? We're just looking for a change, to be honest. Yeah. Damn, Jack. You know all the classics. Prom night, sleepaway camp, the hills have eyes, Friday the 13th. <laughs> Those are actually Christina's, they're not mine. I'm not really a big horror movie fan. Yeah, I've been collecting for years now. It's like a hobby. I know every single thing about every horror movie. Oh, really? Yep. All right. Who played Freddy Krueger? Robert England. That was too easy. What was Jason Voorhees' original name? Josh. <laughs> Woo! Faux shizzle! Alright, one more. How much screen time in total did Anthony Hopkins get in Silence of the Lambs? Only 16 minutes, bitch. Alright, I'm impressed. You know your horror shit. Jealous much? So what movie were you watching? We were watching Wrong Turn. Oh, that film's fucked up. Right? It reminds me of The Hills Have Eyes. Yeah, but it takes place deep in the woods instead of a desert. Exactly. Yeah, but the third one's not as good. There's a certain formula you gotta go through when it comes to a trilogy. You gotta give the protagonist some kind of backstory and do something unexpected to get the audience. Yeah. One of the greatest examples is one of the biggest reveals in all of cinematic movie history. The infamous line, No, I am your father. From The Empire Strikes Back. But it set the stage for the final film of the original trilogy. Without it, Return of the Jedi would have been shit. Okay, true. And in Saw 3, John Kramer, aka Jigsaw, has a wife. And in Texas Chainsaw 3, we learn that Leatherface's family is crazier than he is. They all follow the formula. What do we know about killers and trilogies? How do they differ from killers in other horror movies? Well, by the third installment, the killers finally learned off the mistakes in the others. Like in your movie. Olivia and Jeremy are amateurs compared to this guy. He's unbeatable. He's superhuman. You could stab him, shoot him, hell, you can even burn him on fire and nothing happens. You either gotta blow him up or rip him to shreds. 
everything from sex, drugs, and alcohol are all ingredients to the killer's main course. <sighs> There'll be no motive. Pure hardcore. I'm talking Hannibal Lecter, Norman Bates, and Jigsaw. They're all hardcore. They show no mercy. Not to mention you can't trust anyone. Everyone and anyone is a suspect. Yeah. And what's the number one rule all trilogies follow? Anyone can die in a trilogy, even the hero. Hey, you guys should join our horror club. Horror club? Yeah, it's run by Mrs. Kubrick. You'll like her. She's awesome. Yeah, sounds fun. Awesome. She's a big fan of the Kill series. She'll be happy to see you guys in class. Alright, cool. Oh, by the way, Derek sends his regards. His dickhead boss made him work tonight. The guy's such a tool. Oh. Speaking of which, this is him. I should probably get this. Excuse me. Hello? I know, yeah. <laughs> Is everything okay? Guys, Kylie and Jamie are dead. What? What the fuck happened? They were stabbed and gutted. Do they know who did it? Now, what do you think? Nobody knows. Nobody ever knows anything. Jack, wait. <laughs> everything okay? It's fine. It's just a random murder. It has nothing to do with us. When is it never relayed to us, Christina? Hey, we gotta go. The police are questioning us. Okay, yeah, we'll get together another time. Alright, I'll see you at school. More Heineken light. And shot something, please. I think you've had enough. This is the fifth time you've been here after hours this week. Just one, one more. Please. You know I'm only 17 and I can't serve you. My boss is right upstairs. He almost caught me last week. This should take care of my bill. Let me get one more, though, before we go. Please, just one. I already told you no. It's 4 a.m. The bar's closed. Can I just get one more, please? I know you're... Closing up right now, but Barry, come over here for a second. I just need one more before you go over there, man. What's going on here? He's strong. He won't leave. It's not my fault. I, I, I'm upstairs doing the closing. I leave you down here for 30 minutes. You can't finish up and close out the bar. I know. I'm sorry. You just won't leave. Okay. Listen, just go do what you're doing. I'll take care of it. Hey, sir, is there a problem? Not at all. I just uh, asked Mary for one more. I know, we're close. It's after four o'clock. She o said it was closed. We're close, sir. I mean, so, I, one more, and I'm gonna leave. Law states four o'clock. We close. We close. We Unfortunately, close. you're gonna have to go. I'll close out your tab and That's send you on your way. Your money. Okay. Would you like any change? It's fine. It's all for you, girls. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Anytime. Sir, Mary, Mary, can you please let this gentleman outside? Send him on his way. Sorry. Appreciate you coming in. No, uh, no cups. Can you please leave the cup? Let me just finish this. No problem at all. That's enough. Thank you. You have a good night. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Anytime. If you want, we can call you a taxi. It's fine. I got it. Good night. All right, you have a good night. Good night, Mary. When are we going home? I've been here all day. And I had plans with my friends. I'm sorry, I don't want to be here just as much as you don't. I don't feel like doing any work though. Well, it would go a lot faster if you fucking got off your ass. Alright, I'll take the garbage out if that makes you feel any better. Thanks for your help. Mary, are you capable of closing this place at night? I mean, I really need to know. You need to be able to handle people like this. Get that guy a taxi and send him home before we lose our liquor license. 
Well, maybe Derek didn't go home early every night. You make me clothes all the time. You know what? Don't worry about Derek. Between you and fucking Ziggy, we can't get anything done here. I mean, seriously. I mean, my brother can handle it. You, brother, where the hell is your goddamn brother? The other day I caught him in the fucking walk-in box eating everything. I mean, he left the place a mess. I thought I had rats in here. It's disgusting. Where the hell is he now? He went to take the garbage out. He didn't take I guarantee he's in the walk-in box. Where the hell is he? He's back here. He better not be in his goddamn... Dude, what the fuck? Get out of my goddamn walk-in box every goddamn night. Jesus Christ, between you and your sister, you're me out of goddamn house and home. Get out! Get out and get in the back! What the hell happened out there? Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're eating? Can you please just go take the garbage out like you said? Or it's in the back. Ridiculous. Goddamn can't get any goddamn help. What are you still doing here? She said one more. Just one more. She'd give it to me. What do you want? Think of this as your cut to fame. You're a star. You're the sunny drug addict with the big tits. I'll have some fun with you before you die. Let me guess. You want me to run around so you can pop out and scare me and I'll follow my ass and I'll post a video on Twitter? I'm not that stupid, Peter. Come on, Mr. Ghostface. Whisper something to me. Aren't you supposed to ask me a question or something? All right. Which knife? Which knife or what? Funny, Peter. You're right. It is funny. It's pretty fucked up if you ask me. But there's only one problem. What's that? I'm not Peter. <laughs> Let the games begin. It. <laughs> Ted, I'm not fucking around. Let's go.
Maria. I met a girl named Lieutenant Maria. How's my little protege doing today? Huh? Stand up, Smith, so for you to look like. Yeah, nice as ever. How's that boyfriend of yours? Uh, no nothing, more. No, nothing, huh? Uh, huh? He's lost, not yours. So what's up? Uh, what's on your mind? A lot. What's your start with you first? Oh, yeah, let's go. Retirement. It's a wonderful thing. Wonderful, wonderful. You've been on vacation? Yeah, I've been to the Caribbean, drink a few beers. <laughs> oh, Henry. So tell me, really, the bells and whistles are going off. Why am I here? You know, I didn't think it happened. I thought it was over. Henry, it's starting again. I know. I read it in the papers. <laughs> Henry, listen. Stop, 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 stop. I know what you're going to say. But remember what I taught you. You need two things in this business. It's a brain and an iron gut. Not the type of people who go work from nine to five and shut it off at the end of the day. <clears throat> we take it with us wherever we go. We see dead kids, we see dead grandmothers, we see shootings at us. You can't just turn that off and become mommy and daddy at the end of the day, or the baseball coach. No wonder divorce rates are so freaking high in this department. Let me tell you something. I'm enjoying my retirement. I got the medication, I got the stents, I got the bald spot, I got the aging marks. My doctor says I'm aging gracefully. And with any luck, 20 or 30 years from now, I'll lose my memory and my hearing. So now, you tell me why it is that I should come back and accelerate this aging process. I, I don't I, 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 I but I'll tell you something. I need you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you to think about it. I want to get you coffee. What's this? Dunkin' Donuts? The shit is serving the precinct? DD? More like doo doo donuts. You moved to a new town. You found the girl of your dreams. Too bad, it was all for nothing. <laughs> this isn't real. I'm sure you've seen much weirder things. <laughs> Did you really think you can escape your own mind? This, this cannot be happening. I'm not going crazy. I believe insane is the right word. Why are you here? I'm here to help. Help me how? I can see that hell is not that far away from you. And I think you need my help. That's why I'm here. Maybe we should just cut to the chase. What the fuck? Maybe it's that guy Dale. He seems mm. kind of sketchy. No, it can't be Dale. Dale's a good guy. Maybe it's... Maybe it's that kid Peter. He knows too much about horror movies. Well then, you're kind of throwing Christina under the bus. That's true. Could be, uh, that girl Kate? Um, I don't think so. I think she's too much of a goody two-shoes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who else could it be? Um, what about Samantha? Hmm, could be.
could be. <sighs> Tell me why I'm here now. I'll show you. You don't recognize this place, do you? No. Am I supposed to? It's where it all began. Why am I here? You're dead. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You better listen to her. Why are you here? We're in your head. You tell us why we're here. I don't even know what the hell is going on right now. That's for you to figure out. Hey, Jack. How you doing? Well, this is one hell of a reunion. Don't forget about me. Okay. <laughs> is this some kind of intervention or something? Maybe this is your second chance. So what is this? Heaven or hell? What does it matter to you? Anywhere is better than where you are right now. So if you're all dead, where's Jonathan? Some things just can't be explained. Yeah, like when you left me in the bathtub to die. If someone was running after you, you'd do the same thing. Sorry, that was me. I was running a little too fast that night. So what's your plan, pretty boy? I don't know what you want me to choose. So you're gonna stay? Or go? Stay or go. 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 Get out of my head!
It's time, Jack. Turn back or die. Who else is down here? All your friends came back for your final chapter. Isn't that nice? I just want to wake up. Please, just let me wake up. That's not an option, Jack. I've had enough of this bullshit. Just let me wake up. Can't you see the point? We can't let you die yet. The series isn't over. You're the light in everyone's tunnel, Jack. You inspire the uninspirable. Jack, you need to stop running and hiding and just stop being a coward and come back to reality. That's the point! Don't you see there's no running and hiding here? That's why I want to stay. You can't force me to go! You're a coward, Jack. You're too much of a coward to admit that you're taking the cowardly way out. <laughs> coward. If I were the coward, I wouldn't be standing here right now bickering as the blood poured around my feet. Look at all the friends and family you're leaving behind. Even Christina. Jack, if you kill yourself, all those people that have died because of you would have died in vain. Yeah, like Jonathan and Jessica and Callie and Trevor and what about me? Don't you care about me, your own cousin? You're gonna regret this, Jack. You're making a big mistake. Just... just take me somewhere else. Please. Don't worry. We'll take care of that. See you soon, Jack. It's time for you to give the fans what they've been waiting for, Jack. They're all still waiting. What's that? A satisfying ending. What we've all been waiting for, Jack. Send me home. Your wish is my command. Christina? Hello?
Hello. Hello, Jack. Do you like to preview the upcoming events? Who is this? That's the question that people like you always have. Who is this? Why are you doing this? Why me? It's all the same answer. The movie needs to keep itself suspenseful. This isn't a fucking movie. coming up, huh? You got the balls for that? Oh, I'm so scared. I'm shaking at my boots. Why don't you come and find me, pretty boy? Then we can play. Where are you? Is everything okay? It's it's him, it's the killer. Where? He's he's in here. Come on. Where is he? Did you get any luck in those phone records? Nope, but we thought of something. I mean, maybe we should call the station in Long Island. I mean, if these murders are related to Roy Drive, we should have Jack's family on protection watch. That's a good idea. This way, if the sick fuck has any followers, we'll be one step ahead of them. I mean, we don't know what we're dealing with. I mean, this, this is a call to be all over the United States. Exactly. Hey, Bill. Captain. Lieutenant, what are you doing here? Figured guys needed my help. How's Wes and the boys? They're fine. Would you step outside for a moment and I talk to Bill? Sure. Thank you. It'll only be a minute. So is it true? Roy Drive is resumed this town? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two teenagers were killed last night. Most recently last night, Jack was attacked. What makes you think this has anything to do with Roy Drive? When Jack's attacked was father death. What about the phone calls? Yeah, I understand received one last night before the attack. We're checking the phone lines right now. I think it's starting again, Maria. Did you check Jack's home for fingerprints? Because the killer will have to leave a print. Well, of course we check for fingerprints. Well, what can I do? We have this under control, Maria. With all due respect, Captain, this is another one of your Roy Drive theories getting in the way of our investigation. We can't postpone it. You're gonna have to let me do what I do best. And that's find this motherfucker. So can you just man up and just do your job, please, that's all I ask. What's he done? Thank you, sir. Can I buy you a drink? Do your job. Martini? Margarita? Please? Bitch.
Jack Anderson, you haven't changed one bit. Mom, what are you doing here? Oh, Christina <laughs> called me. Oh, really? Yeah, she invited us to the party tonight. Oh, cool. But she don't remember me. Of course I do, Grayson. How are you? Oh, I missed you. <laughs> oh, I miss you too. Surprise! Hi, Christina. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm well. How are you? Good. So, how many people are coming tonight? Not too many. She'll only be a few, seven maybe. That's just to get together. Peter, I'm putting you in charge of movies. All right, I got a couple classics. Which ones? Uh, Halloween, Child's Play, uh, Friday the 13th. Which ones have um, tits? <laughs> Fucking horny <laughs> bastard. What? I just want this party to be titties, tatas, gazungas, gazangas, you know, boobies. You know, last year we, we had so many people but then all the guys left because we didn't have enough tits. I want this party to be fucking tits galore. You know, there'd be more people coming to this party if there wasn't a fucking psychopath on the loose. Everyone's too scared to leave their house. Peter, go get the man some tits, shut him up. Got it. Okay, are you guys sure we should invite this Jack Anderson kid? Yes. Why wouldn't we? Come on, the kid's like a magnet for death. Come on, it's not his fault. Okay, fine. But if something bad happens, it's all on you guys. It only happened twice. It's not like it's <laughs> gonna happen again. <laughs> well, third time's the charm. How you doing? How's everything? How's it going? Good. I'm thinking you got a little uh, shirts sure. over there. That's better. <laughs> donuts and cups. <laughs> they go together, right? Yeah. I love donuts. Jelly donuts, Boston creams, you know, those Boston creams, you know, they're like big zits on your fucking head. You know, bite into it, all over the place. <laughs> I might have but you know what, though? Once you get about that, you really can't do it with a Dunkin' Donut. Because there's no filling in the goddamn thing. It's like fucking finding Waldo in the picture. You know the little bastard there, but you can't find the fucking guy. You need Krispy Kreme donuts. No good. I need Krispy Kreme. You know who I am? Out with the, no, yes or no? No, no, you don't know me, right? Well, by now I'm sure everybody's heard me. Who's your CEO? You don't know. Listen, kid, you gotta talk. Texting don't work with me. You gotta speak. Did you know you can talk in that fucking thing? Listen, you tell the CEO that McLean's back. All right? You tell Captain Obvious that I'm back here and that I told you to get me a Krispy Kreme donut, jelly. And while you're at it, get me a Starbucks coffee, latte, skinny, no whip, and um, soy milk. Because uh, my doctor says I gotta do something healthy for myself. Okay. Let's go, McFly! Today! Today, McFly! Come on! Let's go! We gotta kill him again. Let's go! Dale. What is it? We got a hold of the number that called Jack. You're not gonna believe this. Who was it? Remember that girl that went missing? Mary? The call came from her cell phone. Dale, I think we have our suspect. Oh, shit. Yeah, I sent out our team to question her mother. I'll keep you posted. Good job. Thank you, sir. Come on, I gotta take a piss. So, how is everything at home? Mm -hmm. It's been quiet without you. Has it? How is uh, Grandma and Grandpa? Oh, they miss you. Really? We all have missed you. <laughs> I miss you guys, too. We drove down here as soon as we heard what was happening. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Wherever I go, it's just gonna follow me. Jack, I love you, but don't say that. Do they know who's behind it anyways? They're searching now, but I have faith in them. And the kids still wanna throw a party? Can't they tell them they had a curfew or something? Teens will be teens. If the town shuts us down, those assholes will find another place to have it. Dale and the police will be outside watching, so if anything bad happens, they'll be able to stop it immediately. I don't want you and Grayson getting involved. You guys both seen what it's done to Christina and I. I'm sure you guys are both very scared still. 
We'll be safe. As long as we stick together. They'll catch that fucker, I'm sure of it. I hope so. Okay. I'm coming, Mary. Uh, this is my little cousin Grayson. Hi, how are you? Oh, dude, it's a pleasure to meet you. Come on, drink up. Hey, everybody, Jack's here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I've warmed up the ladies a little bit. Okay. Come on, go have fun. Oh, uh, have you heard from Peter? I haven't, no, sorry. All right, all right, I'll see you later. Hey, how are you? Awesome. Where are you guys in costume? Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't have time to get any. No. But that's fine. No, don't worry about it. Well, costume or no costume. Maria. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Christina. <laughs> Come dance with us. Yeah. Who's right. yeah. <laughs> the cat lady? That's Samantha. She likes you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can I go get some food? Of course, yeah. Just stay close, please. Okay, thanks. Okay. This is Lieutenant Maria Matthews, and I will be personally handling the Roy Drive case from now on. Behind Captain Dale's back. Nicely said. Henry! Bye! <laughs> I'd hug you, but smoke some other. That's okay. So, now that I'm here, what do you want me to do? Well, actually, Jack was attacked last night. Son of a bitch forgot to mention it to me until today, so if it's not a problem, can you go down to the evidence room and just get some of the items from me yeah. and wait for the investigation? On my way. Thank you, Henry. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Officer Henry McLean is back. Thank the Lord. Bite it, Dale. Why are we even here? Wait, here it comes. Here it comes. Right. Fuck yeah! You're disgusting. I know I am. When do we get to see Jamie Lee's breasts? Well, not on the Halloween franchise, but her real first uh, new film was uh, Trading Places. Cheers to Jamie Lee! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so, what's your favorite candy? Uh. Probably Skittles. What's yours? I love M&M's. Oh. You don't like M&M's? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, here's a good one. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> My life. Me too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what time is it anyway? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, I can't do this. 
It's, it's, Sam, it's not you, I promise. I, I love having you as a friend, I love having you in my life, I just... I, I can't do this, I'm sorry. So sorry, babe. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll be right back. All right, but hurry up. Anderson's had a hidden camera in their apartment. And this, my dear, may just be the golden ticket we're looking for. Get out. Thanks, Mark. Sweet dreams, sweetheart. Henry? Yeah. Happy to have you back. It's good to be back here. That's just all I need tonight. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, have you seen Kate? She went to go clean her shirt a little bit ago. No, I haven't seen her. No. Well, can you help me find her? Yeah, sure. And where the fuck is Peter? I, I haven't seen him in a while. I, I don't know. I haven't heard from him all day. Hey, can one of you guys try to help me find Kate? Derek says she's missing. She's gone? Yeah, I can help. No, 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 it's fine, I'll go. No, Jack, it's fine. You should enjoy your sleep. You sure? Go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Come on. Look, mister, I don't know who you are or what you want, but I'm gonna hang up now. Hello? What? No fucking way! Guys, the, Mary and Ted are dead. They were found at, at the school. They, they were hung from the flagpole. They were gutted and set on fire. The sheriff has just called a statewide curfew. I'll be right back. I have to go get to see and Samantha. So what do we do now? Christina? Samantha? Jack. Oh. How are you guys? You guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. Is everything... What's going on? The, the two missing kids, Mary and Ted, they're dead. Oh my god. The sheriff just called a statewide curfew. Come on, come on, we gotta go. Cancels my party, no one! It's not your fault, David. There's nothing that you could have done. Do you know what this is gonna do to my reputation? I'm completely and utterly fucked! And where the fuck is my girlfriend? Here. Has anyone seen her? No, we've been looking for her, we didn't find her. She couldn't have disappeared off the face of the It's fine. Well, now I have to worry about her, too. You know, just calm down, Terry. All right, well. Let's start cleaning this place up. Christina, can you go into the supply closet and grab a broom or something? Yes, sure. All right, the rest of you, I guess, just grab some trash bags and let's clean this shit up. Got it. Guys, it's Peter. 
Peter, where the hell are you? Hi, Jack. Welcome to the final act. Guys, it's him, it's the killer. What? Where the fuck are you, you fucking coward? Boy, do we have a show for you tonight. You're a pussy. Come out and show yourself you have balls too. I like your enthusiasm. But we're gonna have some fun before you die. This is gonna be a screamer. You guys hear that? What is that? Shit, break it up! Someone! Cover your mouth, God Breaking up. Catherine? Christina? Christina?
Mary? 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 Mary, where the fuck are you? We've been looking for you. Don't try pulling one of your ghost face pranks. Mary, you gonna talk or not? Why are you doing this? Why, Jax? Your mother was such a whore. And she had you. And she shut everybody out. Her family. Her friends. Even her boyfriend. How do I break this to you? I'm your father. After you were born, Jack, your mother never let me see you. Olivia, the others, they were all set up. It was never about killing me, Jack. Never. It's all about making fucked up shit happen. Because in the end, I'm that makes you number two, you little shit. Now this is the best part. This is where we get the audience to shit their pants. What better way to end the series of Kill than doing something totally unexpected by bringing back the original cast member, get this, get this, this is a real good now, Mrs. Rebecca Johnson. Brilliant! Hi, Jack. Remember me? Remember all the fun times we had growing up? Those were fun, weren't they? That all changed when Henry here offered me a fortune. All I had to do was fake my own death. How easy was that? <laughs> what about your friends? What about Erin? Erin? Erin was a filthy bitch who deserved what she got. Jack, what kind of world do you live in? I don't need friends, I don't need family. All I need is fame. Why don't you just, just get it over with already? Are you kidding? What about the main event we have all planned out for you, Jack? Look above you. <gasps> oh my god. I would have made it better, but I didn't have enough time. <laughs> but before we start tonight's festivities, we had a little birdie in this flu. Let it go! Don't run right here! You'll only be tired when you die. Up to date, you know. Uh, Rebecca, dear, would you like to have the honors? Please don't, please. Certainly. Let's see if this cat has nine lives. <laughs> One, no. two, three. Nighty-night, my dear. 
And that was just a teaser trailer. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, for the big surprise. The big surprise ending. I do hope you would appreciate all the trouble I went through for this ending. Because what better way to end this than to change the look of the murderers and to have a flip bath! Let him go! Jack, Jack, Jack. Every time someone gets killed, you get the fame and the fortune. You little shit! Not this time! Fuck you, I've heard this shit before! <laughs> That's no way to put it, Daddy. <laughs> You're not my father. <laughs> You're just a psychotic prick who just decided to butcher innocent kids. It's funny, you think killing us is going to make that any better. Shut up! You think this will give you the fame? Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, it's going to give the audience exactly what they wanted. You know, Jack, not everything has a happy end. <laughs> please, please don't do this. Too late for that, son of mine! It's showtime, now on with the show! First floor, ladies and gentlemen! Second floor, participants! And third floor, Lindsay! <laughs> Woohoo! You're gonna love the evening, Jack, I just know it! Please, just put them down, you're not to do this. I can't, Jack. The show wants to go What good is it to be a survivor if everyone you love is dead? <laughs> you must suffer for what you've done. I can't, Jack. For fuck's sake. I killed my own son to get the money I deserved. Why don't you explain the concept of our game to him? <laughs> don't mind if I do. Get ready, Jack. You're gonna feel the warm blood of the innocents pouring all over you. <laughs> you got that, Jack? In the warm blood all over you. Did everybody hear that? <laughs> no, please, please. <laughs> Enjoy your blood bath, Jackie boy! <laughs> It's just bird. <laughs> but before we do so, Rebecca, my darling assistant, come here. I have something special for you. Close your eyes. It's a big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already crazy, Jack. But I want all the money. Baby, <coughs> fortune, baby, It's all mine, baby. All mine. Come on, son. Wake up. Come on, son. Come on. Show's not over yet. Come on. That's a good boy. Fuck you. That's a good boy. Fuck me. No, 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 Jack. Fuck you. Fuck you. Not me. Not me. I'm number one. <laughs> I am not coming. You screw over. You got that, Jack? Do you? I can't hear you, Jack. Okay. Yeah. Go, go, get the 
to down. Bill! Dale! Henry! Is anybody even here? Are you okay? I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. I'm so, so sorry, Grayson. Samantha, are you okay? I'm okay. Thank you. We gotta get out of here. No, you guys go. I'll stay here. Just go start no, the course. What about Kate? I'll stay here with Kate. I'll take care of her. No, are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. Just go start the course. Alright, Kate, it's okay. <laughs> Nothing's okay. Kate, it's all over. It's never over. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this since the moment I laid eyes on you. I know you're hurting and confused, but it'll all be over soon. I know. It doesn't happen as fast as it does in the movies. start. Fuck! Mm, okay. I need you to do me a favor here. There's a field in the back of the building here, right? That should take you to the nearest town. I want you to run as fast as you can through the field, through the woods, okay? Alright? Okay. Don't hesitate, alright? Mm -hmm. Alright, come on, come on, go! Samantha! <sighs> Sam! Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. All right. When I was driving up here with Christina and Grayson, I saw an old abandoned farm. There was a field behind it, right behind this building. So? We can't get the car started, so I guarantee you there's an old pair of jumper cables. What, what if there isn't? Th then we'll figure it out. Figure okay? it out how? We're just gonna run around? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know at this point. Just, just focus. Okay? We need to go. Okay. Before it gets too dark, okay? Okay, fine. Right. Let's go. Jack? Christina? Guys? Guys, you okay? Jack! Christina! What? Guys! What the fuck is this? Jack! Christina! Where the fuck are you guys? It's not fucking funny! What the fuck? What the hell? 
What the hell? Jack? What the fuck is this? What the? from the outside. How the hell was I supposed to know this was like a goddamn museum? Come on, let's look around. watching horror movies can really give a sick person some crazy ideas. Mm. Since I'm a sick fuck, mm. I've been taking notes. <laughs> There's one thing that I'm forgetting about Olivia and Jeremy. What's that? They're dead. You know why? Mm. I fucking killed them. Pretty far, I'll give you credit. Please don't do this. Aww. But I have to. You see, this isn't about killing Jack's friends. I have to kill you because you broke my best friend's heart. <laughs> Peter loved you. He loved you since the first moment he saw you. And you rejected him, you selfish, ignorant bitch! I thought we were friends! <laughs> Friends? I've wanted to ram a knife in your stomach ever since I met you. I thought you were... I thought you were different. What about Derek? 
Derek was a selfish, horny asshole who only wanted sex. For someone who loved horror movies so much, he forgot to keep his dick in its pants. I mean, slutting around town. He deserved what he got. You're sick! <laughs> I believe crazy is the word. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> Aw, look at you, acting all big and tough. Wow. You're pathetic. You're nothing. The only problem with killing you is I can only do it once. And now some closure for poor Peter. What do you want? Just a minute of your time, Jack. No. Oh. No. No. And she gets it, Jack. No choice. No, please. Please. A lot of blood's been spilled because of you, Jack. Tell me, how do you live with this stuff? I try not to think of it. Try? Try, Jack? Ha, please, try. Leave me a break, Jack. Not Jack Walking and talk with his own son. <laughs> this isn't a normal father-son talk. Ah, uh, where my son has a sense of you. It's me, one. Just, just do it. You are giving me permission to kill you? I've spent the last four years of my life playing hiding with sneak and tear with psychopaths. I don't have. So if you want to do it, then just do it! Because I'm not running any longer! I'm glad you came to your senses, son. Jack, please. It's okay, Christina. Do what you've got to do. Jack, please don't do this. Look away, Christina. Jack, I never got to sing a lullaby as a kid, so here's one for you right now. I'm so glad we had this time together, just to let us sing a song too. Seems we just get started, and before you know it, comes the time we have to say. Just a one night stand, motherfucker. We get you to hospital. Jack, I'm not gonna make it. Don't talk like that, Christina! Get up! Jack, just tell my mom that I love her. And my dad was the best dad ever. Just tell them that they did everything for me. No, no! This is not supposed to be how it ends. I won't let it end this way. <laughs> 
We need to get the happy ending that we deserve. I did not go through all of this hell for it to end like this. If you die, then they win. This <laughs> <laughs> we, we were meant to be together. Nobody can take that away from us. Meant to. <laughs> Christina. out of the way, about time. <laughs> Maybe I was thinking along the lines of Peyton Chesfield. Ah, ah, ah. I didn't say you could get up yet. Get off of me. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy stomping on your chest until you puke up your heart. Any last words? How does it feel to be killed in a Jack Anderson movie, bitch? What? Him, Jack, and, and I didn't get a chance to tell him, and, and she, she said it was my fault, and she's right. What, 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 are, you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> it's over. It's over. <laughs> Sam, it's over. You okay? Why don't we get the fuck out of here now?
Home sweet home. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, uh, what do you think? I don't know what to say. Welcome home. Thank you. You want to, uh, want to show you your room? Yeah, yeah, sure. So how's it feel to be home? <laughs> how am I supposed to feel after all that's happened here? Honey, I have no idea, because I know so much bad stuff happened. Why did you decide to stay here after all that's happened here, after all of the shit that went down here? I know a lot of bad stuff happened here. I can't, I, I can't even imagine how that makes you feel. But honey, you took your first steps in that living room. I tucked you in bed every single night and soothed you to sleep after every nightmare you had. We brought you home from the hospital here. All of that, all of this good, outweighs the bad in my mind. You know, I know she's not here anymore, but still, every time I turn on my phone, I wait for a text from her. Wait for something, just so I know that she's still there. Hey! Hi. Hi. Did you get settled? Yeah, yeah, I'm all settled upstairs, thank you. You have everything you need? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much. I, I can't thank you enough for letting me welcome. stay here. I can't even imagine. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's hard on all of us. Yep. Yep. That it is. But, I'd like to think we're all safe now. Right? I think so. Right? Yeah. Well, you guys want some lunch? That's the least I can do. Yes, please. Okay. I gotta go to the store because we literally have zero food in this house because you guys ate it all. So, uh, is there anything you want? Candy. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, I'll get you some. Um, so, are you gonna be okay? And how long are you gonna be? Just a few minutes. I'll hurry. Okay. Okay? Alright. I got my phone. Call me if you need anything, okay? Okay. Alright. Relax. You're home now, okay? Yeah. Alright. Bye. Bye. Samantha? Samantha? Sam, what the hell is going on?
Sam? Sam, what keeps falling? Sam, I'm not playing around.
edge of town Now spread your wings and fly Don't the lights of the city look so damn pretty When you're flying so high It's hard to know that down below The streets pave us swimming deep in blood It's enough to make a grown man cry You really wanna know what's wrong with this land? I see you scratching your head with your red right hand. I'm talking about blood, babe. It's in your veins. Your mommy and the daddy, they've got the same. Pretty face crumbling away as you become your mom and daddy. Scream once, scream twice, now scream again. Cover that face with your red right hand.